I'm going to show you an alternative to zipping on, uh, installing a zipper in the middle of a bimini pocket. Uh, I do this as an alternative to using binding on the edge of it because with binding costing $70 a roll, this seems to me to be a, a better way to do it and it's just as quick and easy. So I draw a line where I want the zipper to go into on the outside of the pocket and then I separate my two zipper halves and on the outside of the pocket, the finished edged pocket, I sew my zipper on facing opposite directions. And I go as close to the teeth as my, um, as my foot will allow me to go. So I just sew it on real quick. I'll uh, remove the slider when I get to the bottom because I'll want to put that on after I've completed the zipper because it does nothing but get in the way. Cut it off and heat it. pretty sure that you know what I'll do after I get this other side sewn on. I don't usually do lineup marks on this uh, straight of a pocket, but if you were on one of the curved front or back pockets, you would definitely need to make lineup marks. And then um, now it comes time to separate the zipper. Uh, a couple different ways you could do that. You could do it with a heat knife, which is a popular way. Um, I'm not into breathing those fumes. That's just not an option for me. So I use um, the pinking shears. And uh, you can do it whatever way you want. And I just separate it down the middle. Now you'll lose, you know, I'm sorry, you'll probably gain a tiny little bit in the overall width of this zipper just because of when you flip this, you tend to gain just a little bit of width. But I think y'all by now know where I'm going with this. Once I get it separated, I just flip it and top stitch it. Lot of, uh, a lot of differences in opinions about burning these edges versus pinking. Um, in my case, the only time I use pinking is when it is completely out of sight. I would never allow pinked edges to be seen um, in any way, shape, or form. Otherwise, I'd use the hot knife. And um, I have been known to go outside at the table and use it. I just don't do it inside where I'm breathing the fumes, the stuff is stu that goes into making of Sombrella and these other fabrics. It's so toxic. Okay, so that's basically it. You know, I'll go slide my zip. You know, the biggest trick is to make sure it gets back to the boat with the slider. That's been actually one of our areas we really had to watch because we do take the slider off every time we do a zipper and um, it has been known to get back to the boat without the slider and without a zipper stop and then sometimes without the slider and with a zipper stop so um, that's basically it you get a really nice finished product without the binding quick and easy